Hi everybody and welcome to today's LEGO Technic video. I'm really excited to present to you my latest creation in this model over here. And uh, you might be wondering what it is. Well, it is in fact a 7 segment LED panel. So what's a 7 segment LED panel? Well, if you ever use one of these old style calculators, you can see that the digits of these calculators are made up out of these uh, essentially 7 segments. So for example, number 8 shows all the segments being on. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And um, by using uh, different combinations of the panels being lit, you can make different digits. So for example, obviously this is number 8. Got the number 1 like that, just those two panels. Number 5, for example, that one, that one, that one, that one. Number 3, and etc. And not only can you make different uh, numbers, uh, just digits, you can also make letters. Now, of course, this calculator doesn't support letters, but uh, some of the older style computers uh, use hexadecimal. And they use the digits from 0 to 9 and the letters from A to F, so A, B, C, D, E and F. So I thought it would be really interesting to try and build a one of those panels um, and have it display different digits. So if that is something you're interested in, please keep watching. Right, so my panel consists of those seven segments. You can't see them very well because they're kind of purposely all made black so that you can't see them when they're off. But by using these manual controls here, I can turn on different segments. So for example, I can rotate that one and turn on that segment and that one and look at that, we've created the number one. If I then, for example, add this one here, um, this one here, this one and the top one, and look at that, we have made the number zero. So by uh, turning on different combinations of the segments, we can create any digit that we like, as well as uh, some of the letters like just discussed before. But what makes this project really interesting is, of course, that I don't have to do it manually. I've got underneath, I have got a programmable track that has got different knobs on it in order to automatically switch those segments. So that allows me to program in a sequence of digits that I can then display by manually turning this handle or driving it over here with a motor. Uh, I can choose between the two different settings just using this switch over here. And that allows me to generate you know, a sequence of digits. Uh, I've got it counting upwards for example, but by programming this track differently you can create different sequences of numbers or letters. So the first challenge in this project was to design the uh, switching mechanisms for the LED segments. So as you can see they kind of switch like that. And I went through a few different variations. I sort of came up with a small one like this that just kind of would switch a small panel. Uh, but uh, this wasn't really big enough. Uh, amount of space that the whole project needed. It really needed a larger panel. So I ended up coming up with the, this particular design that I ended up settling on. So that's just simply a uh, length 7 kind of construction and each 90 degree turn would just flip the panel. So by having one of these uh, knob wheels you can just simply rotate it 90 degrees and that would um, you know, invert the setting of the segments. So from black to on and then back to black. And the nice thing about this is that it kind of hides the colour very well so that you don't really want to see the colour yellow when it was off. And some of the other designs you can kind of still see the sides of that yellow panel. So this is uh, the mechanism I used for the uh, segment switching. So the next challenge I had was to line up the control axles and make them all kind of go in this direction because with the track underneath that allows you to do the programming for the switching, all the axles pretty much have to be aligned this way in order for the knob wheel to uh, all line up with the track. So they pretty much all have to be in this direction. And of course some of the panels do line up nicely like that, but the other ones are that way. So I just somehow turn this around that way. Of course, a simple way of doing that is by using kind of a construction like this um, with the um, bevel wheels or the bevel gears. You can pretty much turn 90 degree corners. So now I can turn an axle that goes in this direction and make it go in that direction. So, for example, I can just use this like that. And that will allow me to do that switching of the panel and still have the axle going in this direction. So some of the uh, panels are, you know, are facing pretty much this way. And some are facing that way, so of course I didn't need that mechanism for the ones facing in this direction. By combining all of these together, I've managed to get all the knob wheels to line up in this direction in order to work with the uh, programming track. Alright, so I can just show you underneath here, I can actually open up the whole mechanism like this. And uh, I'll just put it this way so you can see better. But so uh, you can see over here we've got the uh, knob wheels that then connect to the segments and rotate them. You can see here I've got those three... Um, bevel gear mechanisms in order to rotate the axes 90 degrees. 
and then on the other side I've got the programming track so that track consists of a number of lift arms with a number of knobs in the right places in order to drive the knob wheels so those uh, little knobs will then rotate each of these wheels as that track um, moves around so that allows me to then um, you know generate different sequences of displays uh, depending on the position of the knobs on these tracks and of course the programming of these knobs uh, is relatively difficult because of course um, they have to be offset because the different knob wheels are at different physical locations and of course they have to then also match to the LED segments in such a way to generate the correct numbers. Alright, so let's give you a demonstration of panel action. We'll just close her up. We've got these special pins on the sides just to uh, put it all back together. Put them in, in the right place, this side and that side. Right, so in order to use the whole mechanism, what I've got, I've got uh, the track here and I've got a special orange lift arm there that needs to be, that's kind of like the starting point. We'll kind of put that at the front here. Then I have to manually put the panels uh, to black, so pretty much like this. Make sure the whole mechanism is reset to the starting point, and then once it's at the starting point, I can start turning the manual handle and put uh, bring the whole thing into action. So let's start doing that. All right, let's start turning the handle, and the first digit is look at that zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and then after 9, uh, because it's hexadecimal, we're going to go A, B, C, D, E, F. So after 9 comes A, so that's effectively the number 10. In hexadecimal, it has to be a capital A just to make it work. B is lowercase, uh, so it's pretty much limited what you can make with the segments, but you can actually make a surprisingly uh, large number of letters. After B comes C, capital C, D, number 13, 14 is E. And finally 15 is F and then finally we go back to all blanks back to the beginning so let's see that again a bit faster 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 A B C D E F and back to the beginning one too many all right, so that was the demonstration of the seventh segment LED panel counting up from zero to F in hexadecimal. Okay, so in order to calculate the track for the seven segment LED display, uh, what I've written is a special tool. So just head over to my website, technicbrickpower.com, look at tools and go to LED sequence designer. So what this designer allows you to do is just type in a sequence of 16 different characters. Uh, so for example, we filled in the hexadecimal sequences from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, and F, and then you just push calculate track, and it will go ahead and calculate the track for you. So you just simply need to follow this track sequence. So we've got the orange lift arm, that's the uh, first one, and then I've just uh, alternated the colors just to make it easier to follow the pattern, but you can see uh, anywhere where there's a black dot, that's one of the uh, tow bar kind of pins. Uh, you just put them in the correct places and this makes it very easy to uh, correctly program the whole sequence as you can see here it's quite long it's uh, overall it's 17 uh, lift arms long if you want to you know type in a different uh, sequence like you might just want to type in a word like hello uh, you can calculate that as well and that's that becomes a different sequence so here it is uh, quite a different pinning sequence and again you can do hello uh, you know one two three four five so Obviously a number of letters are supported, I think it's about um, 18 odd letters that are supported just on that 7 segment uh, LED screen, it was quite amazing. So if you do uh, ever build this uh, you know, design yourselves, I'll probably make it available on uh, one of the uh, design websites like um, Rebrickable, I make the design available as a PDF. So when you do build it, you can just uh, choose your own design sequence for your track and display uh, whatever words or letters that you would like. Okay, so I've programmed a whole new track using my online program. Can you work out what it says? It's pretty difficult, so let's install it and find out. Alright, so I've installed the new track. I've connected the motor to the powered up hub. Um, Alright, so let's see what it says. Let's go. 
L E G O. There you go. I S is C O O L. Cool. Wow. B Y E. Bye. Alright everybody, so this was the seven segment LED panel that's been automated to show different messages. Hope you liked it, please like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Bye.